Hi everybody, this is Taylor from Otago, Japan. Today you're joining me at the Otago factory in Saitama Prefecture. I'll be taking you through our metalworking area to see a few of our different CNC machines and how we're monitoring the concentration of metalworking fluid with a few of our different instruments. So let's get started. It's a little loud in here, so bear with me. Here's all of our machines. And we'll be measuring on this one. So here we have our Fluid Test Kit MJ, which is a set of two instruments. First is the PAL 102S refractometer with a wide bricks range of 0 to 70% and an accuracy of plus or minus 0.2%. This model is super handy because it has a very convenient offset feature that allows you to program your cutting oil special coefficient in and calculate the actual concentration value so you don't have to. Um, it also has a data transfer function called NFC and can store up to 100 readings. Second is the PAL pH droplet style pH meter. This model is a completely new design featuring a flat electrode for higher durability and ease of cleaning. This model also does not have any consumable internal KCL liquid, so there's no need for replacement. It was also recently upgraded to better material that is more resistant against amines and cutting oil. The PAL pH has a standard pH range of 0 to 14 and an accuracy of plus or minus 0.10. It will also come with the NFC data transfer feature. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is grab my PAL 102S, grab a pipette, and then I'll take a little bit of the sample out from the tank. Once I have enough sample, just put it on the refractometer, making sure that it's completely covered, press start, and then I get my measurement. Pretty easy. Um, I'm going to do the same thing with the PAL pH, take it out of the case. And then with my pipette, I'll take out some more of the cutting oil, put it on the electrode, also making sure that it's completely covered. Press start and then get my measurement. Companies can fulfill safety at work requirements by always keeping cutting fluids in perfect condition. Now that we've finished with the handhelds, we're going to go over to our inline refractometers on our CNC machines. So I'll show you how they're installed. And then why it's important to measure the concentration. So this Maza cutting machine is getting ready to make some high precision parts like this. So here we have three CM Base Alpha inline refractometers installed. CM Base Alpha is a lower cost introductory inline refractometer. This still has really high durability, which is a Tago's standard. This model is designed to be more fully integrated into the system, and that can be done via pipeline or installing it um, via hose bypass. This model can output data as well, so it can do either 4 to 20 milliamp or RS-232C to some type of PLC or programmable logic controller. So this instrument is really in line with the world's trend towards automation or IOT, which makes it a perfect upgrade from a handheld refractometer. Monitoring the concentration in real life helps with reliable performance in your forming processes, effective protection against corrosion, longer service life of lubricated parts, and better management of your staff's time. So let's move on to our second CNC machine. So this is another Mazak cutting machine and it's currently making a part for our PAL Hikari series. So the CM Base Alpha is currently measuring the metal working fluid running through the machine located over here. We have three of them hooked up again, also with hose connectors. Atago's inline refractometers help get the most out of your coolants while reducing your workers' responsibilities. Their time can be directed somewhere else, as they no longer need to spend that time checking concentration. Some models even feature a high and low limit to let you know when to add more cutting oil. So the display is actually located right here in a convenient area for our workers to see the concentration levels directly at their workstations. 
Where in reality, the CM base alpha is monitoring the cutting fluid that's located in a much less accessible area. Okay, I've shown you our completely inline refractometer. Now I have a different style to show you. The Pan 1 is one of Otago's earlier versions of submersion style refractometers. It can be easily moved between multiple tanks if needed. The regular Pan 1 is a battery operated unit and will continuously measure once the start button is pressed. So to stop measurement, the start button needs to be pressed again. There is also the Pan 1 DC version. That will output data via RS-232C and is powered by that cable as well. The Pan 1 is nice because the length of the rod can be extended, so users that have a deeper tank can get a custom size. Installation is really easy. You just clamp it to the side of the tank and press start, and then it will begin measurement. So you can see the concentration and the temperature as well. So here we have a different machine in a completely different style. So this is the CM Base Beta, which is another submersion style inline refractometer. This one is meant to be more hands off. So once you clamp it to the side of the tank, then you should be able to output the data from there and it will continuously measure without you having to press any start button or anything like that. CM Base Beta is split into two versions, the A and D versions. A version will have data output for 4 to 20 milliamp, while the CM Base Beta D version will be the RS-232C data output. The prism is located on the underside of the unit, and right before you're going to install it, you'll want to connect the power and the data cable. From here, the CM base beta just needs to be hung onto the side of the tank, kind of at an angle, and then once the power is added, then you can start to see the measurement on the display. Concentration is one of the most important variables to control. Too low of a concentration promotes corrosion and bacterial formation, while too high of a concentration means you're not only using up unnecessary cutting oil, but it can also cause skin irritation and foaming. So here we have our slicing machines. These are slicing our glass prisms. So just like knit metalworking, it is very important to monitor the concentration of glass grinding fluid as well. So you can see we have an inline refractometer here. Well, that concludes our video for metalworking today. I hope you learned something new. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. We're always happy to help. Bye-bye.